How can you export an entire asset pack you made into your game? I'll show you two ways on how you can deal with this and what you should look out for. Exporting all the assets as a single file can be a solution, so let's export that first. Select all the objects you want to export and go into File, Export, FBX. Remember to check Apply Transform option to get correct rotation for Unity. You can also check selected objects and mesh to make sure you're not exporting any lights or animations by mistake. You can't use them quite yet, as they are imported as a single instance object. We will need to create prefabs for each object to properly use them first. One of the main advantages of exporting it this way is that you only need to set up your materials once if you have objects that share materials. If there are any problems with the materials, select the FBX and on the Materials tab click Extract Materials. This will create a unit material for each of the materials inside the FBX. You can also create them manually and assign them into the slots. Now let's fix this material and assign the correct texture for it. Finally, let's create some prefabs we can use. With the objects inside the scene, right-click select Unpack Completely, and this will allow you to modify the objects inside. Now drag the objects to your project view, and this will create prefabs that you can use individually. If you have an object made of several other objects, you can put them inside an empty parent and create a prefab of that instead. The downside of using this approach is that, when you need to make changes to the assets, you need to recreate the whole FBX file, and this can break the prefab if you change the structure or the names of the objects inside Blender. The other solution is to export each object into a single FBX file. This makes it easier to modify the assets, but it's harder to set up. Select the Script tab. Under Templates, select Python and Batch Export. This script can export each selected object as its own individual FBX file. We only need to make one small change to fix the rotation inside Unity. In line 29, add bake underline space underline transforms equal true. This is the same as checking apply space transform from the export menu. A list of all possible options can be seen in the Blender API documentation if you need more. Selecting a few objects and pressing Execute here will create the FBX in the same folder as the Blender file. You can change this to export in a subfolder by adding the line base dir plus equals and the director name. Just make sure that folder already exists or it will cause an error. With the script working, select all the objects and hit Execute to create all the FBX files now. Put the files inside your project and you can already use them. The problem with this is that every FBX will have its own default material. Besides making the search clutter with duplicates, this will also affect the performance of the game. So you need to replace all of the object's duplicated materials for the same one. Select one of the FBX files, go into the Material tab and assign a material for the object. If you don't have one yet, you can start by extracting the material somewhere. You can then automatically assign the materials by opening the On Demand Remap arrow. Change the name into From Models Material and search to Project Wide and press the Search and Remap button. If you extract the material, the name should already be correct and this should find and assign all the materials for that object. Unfortunately, this doesn't work for multiple objects, making this setup process painfully slow. To fix this, I found a very simple editor script that solves this problem. After putting the script in your project, open Tools, Model Multiple Material Editor to open a new window. Select all the FBX files and press Apply to Selection. This will remap all the default materials for your project's materials all at once. The bad script won't work for multiple objects together. Here's a tip to quickly fix the origin offset when exporting those. Press Shift-S and position the 3D cursor to the origin. Select the objects and press Shift-S and now select Selection to Cursor if offset. This will move the objects together to the word origin, but you might have noticed that the object now is below the ground. Let's undo this for now. To avoid this, let's first lock the Z location before moving the object. Select all the objects. While holding the Alt key, click on the lock icon near the Z position. This will make the lock active on all of the selected objects. Now repeat the Move Selection to Cursor, 
and the objects will maintain their Z position. As an extra, Blender's FBX exporter has a batch mode option. Using this option will export each collection in your scene into an FBX file. You might find this useful if you want to divide your big FBX file into multiple smaller FBXs, so changing assets will have less of a chance to cause problems. And that's it! These are the two ways I use to help me export multiple assets into my game. I hope this was of any help to someone. Thanks for watching, and until next time.